Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about top 21 tips and tricks for note taking. So guys the app that I am going to use is Samsung Notes. It is a pre-installed app. Okay, so I will open Samsung Notes and I open a new note from here. The first thing that I want to mention here is you can bring any image or text directly from a website into your notes. Okay, so for that I will just open this edge panel and then I open the internet browser and then I drag it here okay and I open it in a split screen so here you can see I search uh, some images on Google okay and for example I like any image okay so for example I like this image so what I can do I just press and hold it and I can drag it into my notes directly okay so you can see I just drag it over here like that okay and then if you want you can also change its size as well okay so you can see over here so I can change its size if you want to rotate it okay you can rotate you can also crop it you can also edit it the next thing is you can bring any kind of text from a website into your Samsung notes so for example on Google I search some website and I have some text over here so let's see I will open this website and I have this text so I can just uh, drag and drop directly into my notes okay so what I will do is I will uh, just select this text okay so you can see over here and now I can just press and hold it okay and I can bring it into my notes like that okay you can see over here the same text I have I can bring it into my notes and then if you want you can also edit it okay so for example if you want to write something you can also write it you can edit it as well you can use the other tools for example if you want to use the highlighter you can use the highlighter tool as well uh, the next thing that I want to mention here is you can also bring whole web page into your notes. So for example, I have this web page. Okay, so it's a long web page. So I can bring this whole web page into my notes. Okay, so for example, I will go back and I open a new page. Okay, so once you open a website, you see there is a link appear over here. It says link or whole page. So I just select this whole page. Okay, so once I select it, it will start adding this full website into my Samsung notes. So all the web page will appear in my Samsung notes and then I can do all the editing. Okay, so for example, I will just make it small. So here you can see all the web page is now available into my Samsung notes. Okay, so you can see all the pages. If you want to zoom it, you can zoom. All the images are also appear. Okay, so you can see everything will be available in my notes. Okay, and then if you want, you can also edit it. Okay, so for example, if you want to write something, you can write over here. Okay, so I will close it and you will see this is how it looks like in my Samsung notes. The next tip is using smart select option. So for example, you like some specific part of any app or any uh, website. For example, I open the internet browser and for example, you like some specific part. Okay, so for example, like this part. So you can use the smart select option. What you can do is just select this air command option, select this smart select option. And then here you can select any part. Okay, so for example, I select this part like that okay so you can see now what you can do is you can just directly bring it into your notes you can just use it like this just drag it and then you can insert it into your notes like that okay so you can also use the smart select option the other thing is you can also bring or extract any kind of text from the smart select so here you see this T icon over here so you can use it and you can extract the text and you can paste it into your notes the next tip is import any kind of scanned document or any image into your notes so you select this uh, insert icon over here just select it and you see this scan option so you can just turn on the scan option and scan any document for example i go into the image and i scan some document like this one okay so i just select it and then i press done so here you see this is my scanned document okay so you can see i can easily insert it into my notes the next tip is using tags option okay so if you select these three dots okay and then you select these tags okay just select it once you select it here you can create the tag okay so i will just uh, give it a name of economy okay like that and then i can just press done and i save it 
okay so now this tag is saved now i will go back okay and then here you see i have a lot of notes okay so how to find my note i just select this search option and here you see there are different tags available so for example my tag was economy i just select this economy tag and here is my notes i can directly open and edit it and i can use this note the next step is about page templates option so you have a lot of page templates option just select these three dots you see this page template just select it and here you can see there are different page templates templates option so we have this one with the line okay like this one and then we have other as well so you can see over here then we have this PDF page templates as well so you just select it and here you can see there are different page templates so for example uh, we have like this one okay like the yearly planner okay so you can see with all the months okay so you can use it the next step is about voice recording option so you can take your lecture okay so you can record your lecture so just select this attach icon select this voice recording okay and then what you can do you can see it start the uh, recording okay and in the meantime you can also take your notes okay so this is how it looks like so the recording is going on in the background so if you are taking a lecture you can record it and you can make your notes at the same time so once you finish you can just stop it and it will save automatically the next tip is about page coloring option so you can change the page colors as well okay select these three dots and then here you see this page settings option so here we have different page colors option so you can see we have like this one pink we have this black okay a lot of page color options okay so you can see so you can select any color from here the next step is about action icons okay so for example i will uh, write some kind of calculation over here okay so i will write 3 multiply by 17 is equal to okay now what i will do i just select this back button from here okay and now i just bring my pen closer to this calculation like this okay so you can see once i bring closer to it you see there is like this calculator icon appear okay now i just select it once you select it it will bring the same calculation in the calculator and it will give me the answer as well and i can do more calculation as well if i want okay and from here i can go back same way i can use it for sending the email okay so here i will write the email id okay so for example i write here abc at yahoo.com okay and from here i will go back and now once i bring my pen closer to it okay so you will see i bring my pen closer and here you see it is showing me the email icon i just select it and here it will show me different type of emails that i can use the next thing is you can also uh, use this action icon option uh, for making a call okay so for example i write here some number okay so i write here just some random number okay now uh, i will go back okay and now i will bring my pen closer to it and you see this phone icon appear so here is the phone icon i just select it and it will take me to the phone dialer and here i can directly make a call the next step is about using different tools okay you have these tools at the bottom so the most interesting tool is the shape tool so you just have to scroll and you will see this shape tool just select it now whatever shape i create okay so for example i create this circle it will make it neat for me okay and then inside for example i create this shape so here you see it will make it neat for me and then if you want i can also change its um, uh, its position its size i can change its dimension okay so you can see i can make it like this i can change its position as well so i can cre create different shapes okay so like this arrow i create okay and then for example i create this type of arrow it will make it neat for me okay and then for example i make this kind of star okay so it will change it for me so i can create different shapes the next interesting tool is the uh, handwriting to text tool okay so for example i select uh, this s pen to text okay and here whatever i write it will convert it into the text okay so you can see over here i write and it converted into the text 
okay so you can use this tool as well uh, the next uh, tool is the pen tool so we have different uh, type of pens option available with different thickness with different style with different uh, colors option so you can use this tool as well to make your notes this is the most important tool then we have this highlighter tool we have four different type of highlighters so you with different thickness okay like this one and different opacity with different colors option so you can use this highlighter tool as well if you want to highlight something and then we have this eraser tool so if i select this eraser we have the area eraser or stroke eraser or we can use the erase highlighter only so for example if i enable it and if i want to erase so it will only erase the highlighter okay so if i just uh, disable it i can um, erase everything okay like that one so you can use this eraser tool as well uh, the next thing that i want to mention here is for example you finish with your note taking so you can export your notes in six different formats so you just select these three dots and then you select this save as file option and here we have six different formats so you can save your notes in notes file pdf word file powerpoint file image file or text file the next tip is about categorization so if i will uh, go back and you see these three lines so here you see there are different folders i create so basically you can create different folders according to your subjects or according to your semesters and in these folders you can also create subfolders okay so if you want to create folder you just select this manage folder and then here if you go down you see this create folder and you can create folder according to your subject so this will be really helpful in the categorization of your note the next step is about backup your notes so if i just select these lines i select these settings and here you see the first option over here it says sync with samsung cloud so you can enable it and you can enter uh, your samsung id and everything all your notes will be backed up in your samsung cloud the next thing that i want to mention here is you can also make your notes on uh, your zoom call so for example you have a lecture on zoom so i open the zoom and you have a new meeting i start a meeting and now you want to take notes while having your lecture okay so what you can do is you just select this air command option and just select this create note option so once you start it will open a node and here you can make your notes okay but you can see it is blocking uh, the screen behind so how to enable it just select these three dots uh, select this opacity option and you can easily reduce its opacity like that okay so you can see now you can see the video at the background and you can make your notes at the same time okay and if you want you can change its position you can also change its size as well okay so all the function you can do so you can see i can use every tool okay so for example i use this shape tool okay so i can use it so all the function you can uh, do while having a zoom lecture the next tip is about multitasking so you can use this edge panel option you can open one app in the split screen on top or on bottom like that and you can open one more app for example i open this zoom and you can open here in the pop-up view in the middle so you can have three apps and three of uh, these apps are working uh, fine okay so you can see i can access all of these three apps okay i can make my notes okay like that i can have this app so for example you, know, you can have a youtube video and then you can make your notes okay and then if you want to change the opacity you can also change the opacity to see what is going on uh, at the background and then you can have like a website also open so you can have three apps working at the same time for your notes the next step is about pdf annotation so if i go back okay so here you see this pdf plus icon over here you just select it once you select it you can open any uh, pdf file that you have in uh, your phone okay so for example i select this pdf file and here you see this is my pdf file so in the pdf file all the tools are available so for example if you want to use this highlighter tool you can use it so if you want to write something you can write okay so all the uh, this shape tool so all the tools are working perfectly fine if you want to add a page into your pdf you can also do it so what you can do is just select these three dots select page sorter option so it will show you all the pages in your pdf so if you want to add a new page just select this plus icon so here you see it will add a new page over here so if i just scroll down okay so here is the new page so you can add 
more pages into your PDF okay and then if you want you can also insert the page uh, for example here after the second page you can insert a new blank page select these three dots add page and select any page that you want any template I select this template so here you see after second page I add a new blank page so if I go back so here is my new blank page after the second page so this is how you can do it and then if you want you can write over here okay so you can write on your PDF okay and then if you want you can also export it once you finish your annotation select three dot and then save as file and you have six different formats to export the next step is about sharing your notes so once you finish with your work select these three dots and select this share icon so once you select it it will show you uh, the formats that you want to share for example I share it as PDF file so once you select it it will convert it into a PDF file and then it will show you all the formats where you can share Okay, so all the formats are available over here. If you select more, there are more options available. The next thing that I want to mention here is the drawing option. So you select this insert icon and then here you see this drawing option. So once you select it, it will come open a completely new page. Okay, where you have different drawing tools available. Okay, so you can see like this brushes okay so you can use this one okay and then we have different colors option so you can see okay different uh, different brushes okay like that we have this eraser so you can use this a uh, drawing and then once you finish you can press done and it will bring it into your notes okay so here is my drawing so here is my notes so here, here is my drawing so you can use this drawing as well the next tool is about the lock canvas tool so at the bottom we have this lock canvas tool just select it so now what you can do is you cannot use your one finger uh, to scroll down so you can uh, make your notes okay like that and if you want to go down you have to use your two fingers like that you cannot use one finger so it will lock your screen and you can easily take your notes okay the next tool is easy writing pad tool okay so for example if you want to write in a proper alignment you can use this easy writing pad tool just select it and what uh, it will open a small pad over here and now here you can write where whatever you want so right here okay so you can see it will show you over here in a proper alignment so you can use this tool as well the next tool is the change style tool so you can select it and here you have different styles you can set it okay for example like this one and now uh, for example uh, what I will do is I will just go up okay and for example I want to change its style so I just bring my pen and, and, and I just put it over whatever I write and it will automatically change so you can use this change style tool the next tool is the lasso crop tool so i can select any image i select this lasso crop so i can crop any part of the image for example i just select this part okay so this is how it looks like after uh, i crop it okay so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much